All right, welcome to the 401 week. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Windows 8 and we're gonna install it on this laptop via the disk, not the downloadable option. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna turn on my computer and we're gonna let it boot into Windows and I'm just turning it on for a reason so we can see how long it actually takes to boot. Because one of the things in Windows 8 it actually says it boots faster. So we're gonna time this and then actually test it and see how much quicker Windows 8 actually boots once we're installed on our laptop here. So we're just gonna wait a second and wait for Windows to load. I'm gonna log it in, we're gonna to get to our desktop and then we're gonna take the disk out and install it right within Windows 7. Alright, so I'm logging in. Keep in mind the time that it took my computer might be a little bit longer or slower compared to yours. What we're all we're doing here is checking out the time frame difference between loading Windows 7 on my computer and loading Windows 8 on my computer. And if you look down here, I am using Windows 7 Professional and we are going to be upgrading to Windows 8 Professional. So we are comparing, if you will, apples to apples on a PC. All right, so while we're waiting for Windows to load, I'm gonna go ahead and open this disk, and when I slide this case out, I can see that there are a few different copies within Windows. I get my welcome card, I have the 32-bit install, as well as the 64-bit install, and then right here, I have my product key, so when I take this out, on the back is my product key. I'm not gonna let you see that, because I don't want you using my version of Windows 8. So since we have the two options of 32-bit and 64-bit Windows 8, we might not necessarily know which one we're gonna wanna choose. So to make it easy, I'm gonna show you one quick little step just to make sure we know which version of Windows we wanna choose. All right, once we get into the desktop, the easy way to figure out which version of Windows we have, we're gonna click on Start. We're going to right click my computer and then I'm going to select, select properties. When I select properties, right here it tells me I am dealing with a 32-bit operating system. So what I want to do is I want to grab my 32-bit operating system CD for Windows 8 Pro. I'll take the disk out. I'm going to open my drive, insert the disk. We'll close this and it should automatically start an autoplay. Once autoplay is going, we'll just click run setup. It's going to verify all of my programs and applications are capable of updating. This may take a few minutes as well, so I may speed the video up. All right, once that's done loading, I'm going to make sure I have go online to install updates now. That way, actually, yeah, let's do that. That way we can make sure that all of our updated software is going to be collected. Now, I'm going to enter my product key, and I'm going to fast forward the tape just because, again, this is my key. It's something you cannot use, and I don't want it to cause any issues if you try to enter my product key on your installation. Okay, so I've entered my product key. It's accepted it. I'm going to accept the license terms. Click Accept. I want to make sure I keep my Windows settings, personal files, and apps. This apps is nothing more than programs that were installed within Windows. So I'm going to click next and this is going to take a few minutes. This is just checking to make sure all the programs that I currently have installed in Windows 7 are going to be compatible within Windows 8. All right, so once it's checked all of my applications, it tells me what I can do and what I can't. So this is saying it's gonna install Windows 8 and it's gonna keep my personal files, settings, and applications. So I'm gonna click install, and this is gonna take a, a little while, so I'm gonna speed up the video while this is installing.
so once it's loaded it's going to ask me to personalize it and pick a color um, I think I'm going to go with the gray and orange I like the gray and orange so we're going to use express settings actually let's customize to see what's all here so we want Windows to automatically install updates yes we want to automatically update the device drivers yes we can turn on the smart screen filter why not We'll leave it on and send a do not track request on websites you visit on. Yeah, let's leave that on as well. Um, do we want to send anything to Microsoft? Help improve. Uh, we'll just leave it all as it is. Click next. Share online solution problems. We'll leave it all as it is. And it's going to finalize our settings. All right, so once we get through updating our settings this is going to bring us to the lock screen and it's very simple to get out of the lock screen you just click and drag up it's going to ask me to give it a username I'm going to give it the same username for this computer this is my work computer and we're going to sign in I'm using a domain yours might have a email address So here's Windows 8. We got our login screen. We can change our account picture. We can lock the computer, sign out, switch account. If I scroll the mouse, oops, excuse me, if I scroll across this bar, we can see some programs I have installed. I have Firefox, Dreamweaver, PowerPoint, Word, Paint, some programs I use. We have these live tiles updating and moving, keeping up with the weather, with some news stock things like that there's a hurricane going on we can click right here and go to our desktop and see nothing crazy has changed from Windows 7 if you didn't know any better other than the start button down here you would think we were still on my same computer if I move the mouse over to the right side of the screen I get some different options I get the date and the time if I move it to the but I'm sorry the bottom right or the top right top left we don't get anything bottom left start button we get the start screen and with that we'll wrap up installing Windows 8 on a Windows 7 computer now keep a lookout I'm going to be posting some YouTube videos on how to in Windows 8 how to do a bunch of things that's different from Windows 7 and how to make Windows 8 look a lot like Windows 7 and do some things that you might not think it can actually do. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.